Hey, how's it going? Checking in for today. Steps taken, progress made towards the speaking goals. And uh, it's actually been a fairly productive day against all the odds because today was also the first full day of homeschooling. And uh, so I sort of built a little bit of flexibility into my schedule today. Um, but boy, what a difference having a plan really does make. So although I had the flexibility, also had, but these are things that I want to do. And one of the things that was really, really apparent to me uh, as I was planning this out yesterday, and I had all these things, I'm so busy, 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 again, fancy that. Um, but I've got these projects that I want to get into, like writing a book, like creating a podcast and launching a podcast. Um, and I kind of suddenly struck me that unless I actually schedule these things into my diary to, to, to look at, to research, to... Um, just spend some time thinking about, then it's never going to happen. And so though I got um, I got a, a lot done today on momentum, um, I um, wrote another session that I have to deliver for um, another client as well, although it's a pre-record, but I kind of wrote that, created that, and I've just got to record that tomorrow. Um, um, I'm pretty sure I'm finished with all the sessions I have to deliver next week. Got a couple of meetings about some of the sessions delivering at the end of this month and beginning of next month to uh, to Nestle, and also had a meeting to talk about the National Apprenticeships Week um, in February as well. So all of that was taken care of. That was already in the diary, and I made sure that I put in time to spend on the podcast, time to spend on the book, and I've managed to do. Actually, I'm not going to lie, I didn't do the book stuff, um, but I did do the podcast stuff. I'd just come off a, a, a kind of a Zoom call with um, uh, somebody who was on the Speaker Factor program with me, and uh, she's a podcaster. She started a pod second her second podcast in the last lockdown, so I just reached out to her this morning and said, hey, look, uh, Amy would love it you know, if you've got some tips and things that uh, I should look at. And so she said, well, let's just get on a call and have a chat. Very kind of her. And so we just spent half an hour there just talking about podcasting. I've got a bunch of notes. A lot of work to do. <laughs> it's, I could just like do something and just chuck it out there and then see what works. But actually, this is an opportunity to do it properly. And um, although it's, it's going to be a decent amount of work, it probably isn't. None of it's beyond me. Um, and so I feel like I'm, I might as well give it, give it a proper shot. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's that's a, a fairly speaky day, but also these other bits in in there as well. I'm still kind of need to make sure that I'm um, putting some effort and time into <clears throat> the funnel for the um, the direct speaking gigs. Uh, I had a really nice um, LinkedIn testimonial written today from a client I worked with back in the summer. And um, he said that he kind of took out, brought out the notes again from what we covered. Um, and I was thinking, you know, this isn't just for me to build my business. The stuff that I'm sharing, the stuff that I'm doing, it makes a difference. It really does, especially now with all the stress and the anxiety and the worry and the fear that's all around. It just kind of feels like I've got to be doing this. Um, and, you know, this isn't just a, a, an easy way to make money for me. This is about, <laughs> um, which it isn't, by the way. <laughs> I hope that's been clear if you've been following these these videos over any period of time. Um, but uh, it, it's about making a difference, which is absolutely one of my um, big values. So there we go. There's the check-in for the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.